Hey there, lawn lovers. Seeing those yellow pesky invaders popping up everywhere? You know, the dandelions? Wishing for a lush green garden without those little yellow outcasts? Let's dive into the science of banishing them. No magic, just solid knowledge. But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into it. Get rid of it! Ever thought to yourself, why are dandelions so darn resilient? It's actually pretty amazing when you stop to think about it. Their root system can go deep into the soil, sometimes reaching 10 inches. But no worries. With the right methods, they're no match for us. So here are the things to do. Wear your gloves. Grasp the dandelion at its base and slowly pull it out. Use your small garden shovel or special dandelion tool to help pry out stubborn ones. Remember that time when you tried to pull a carrot out of a tight jar? It's kinda like that. Gentle and steady does the trick. Did you know? A study by the University of Maryland showed that consistent removal of the flowering heads can severely reduce dandelion spread. Vinegar, salt, and dish soap mixed in a spray bottle can make an easy home remedy. See, dandelions, like us after eating a big bag of salty chips, can't handle too much salt. They just wither away. But use sparingly. We don't want to hurt our lovely grass. Remember reading about this? There was this 2019 study from the University of Illinois confirming the efficacy of certain natural weed killers. Quite enlightening, right? Now, I know some folks are iffy about this. But if you're after quick and surefire results, there are chemical-based weed killers out there that really target dandelions without harming your lawn. Just be sure to read and follow the label instructions, okay? Safety first, always. This one might come as a surprise. Corn gluten acts as a natural pre-emergent. Sprinkle it early in the spring and it'll prevent dandelion seeds from germinating. Cool, huh? This trick was highlighted in a publication by Iowa State University. They're onto something, folks. The thicker your grass, the less room there is for dandelions to grow. It's kind of like being at a packed concert. If all the seats are taken, there's no room for party crashers. Make sense? Consider reseeding your lawn and keeping it well-fed. If prevention is more your jam, try this. By blocking sunlight with a layer of mulch or straw, you're basically telling dandelions, hey, this ain't your party. It's simple but super effective. All right, lawn lovers. There you have it. With these tricks up your sleeve, those yellow invaders don't stand a chance. Think of your garden as a VIP party and dandelions just aren't on the list. But remember, while these recommendations are based on studies and research, results may vary based on soil conditions, climate, and individual lawn health. Always consult with local gardening experts if you're unsure. Finally, if you found this guide helpful, do me a favor, will ya? Hit that subscribe button, share the video, and drop a comment below. It's always lovely to hear from fellow lawn lovers out there. Keep those gardens lush and green.